It's Sunday, December 15th here at the West End Gun Club. It's just after two o'clock, and the reason I'm out here is because I came to drop off some stuff to store in the Connex container for next, week, next weekend's NRL 22 match. As I indicated in the previous vlog that we will be holding monthly matches here at the West End Gun Club for NRL 22 on the fourth Sunday of the month. And so I brought the uh, Tacoma out with me so I can haul the cinder blocks that I need for next weekend's match and this four x four tank trap that I put together. It's folded up right now and it's gonna store it folded. But sooner or later, we're gonna have the store assembled, I think, because they're gonna move this condensed container away from the rimfire range. So this con condensed container is here and the uh, rimfire range is uh, just next door. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just store that stuff in the container and then shoot a little bit of 22 because I need to reserve my CZ455. Because if you recall, I think two vlogs ago, it was shooting a little bit off. And I don't know if it's weather or what, but I'm gonna re-verify the zero. And I wanna test a couple things because I might have to add a few extra stages for next next weekend's matches after the uh the official course of fire i might throw a few stages after that so i want to test a few things out as far as being able to see the targets and i'm curious to see if my my survey whiskers or those whisker markers are still on the firing area because i put a post on the website and on the west end gun club facebook page that said hey i put those out there for your reference and hopefully nobody messed with them and i did bring out the tacoma obviously to haul this stuff and I only have a 2.7 liter four banger and it's a two wheel drive, no four wheel drive. Going over the creek was okay. I was a little bit uh, skeptical if I was gonna make it on the way over here because I didn't know how bad the creek conditions were. And you know, you gotta be cautious when you don't have the four wheel drive and locker capabilities of the Wrangler, but did okay. Anyway, let me go ahead and throw this stuff in the condensed container and then uh, we'll go over the rimfire range and do a little bit of zeroing. Set up a couple steel targets at 100 yards just to verify some line of sight issues that we'll have on some targets depending on placement. And then um, set up a target at 50 yards, paper target just to reserve the CZ455. I was actually recording, but I realized my memory card was full and I can't reformat it because there's some stuff on there I still need. So I just swap out cards. And uh, rather than repeat <laughs> everything I did for a vlog, I'll just tell you what I was doing. But I. Fired five rounds out of a clean cold bore on the CZ-455. First shot was a full mil low, and then the, next, the subsequent four shots were about six tenths low. So I'm gonna go ahead and retorque the action screws on this MPA chassis just to make sure everything's okay, fire five more rounds, and then adjust from there. But I'm trying to remember what exactly the uh, bolt is on this. I really wish we went to metrics on everything. I'm, I'm, I don't think standard is the way to go anymore for a lot of this stuff because who wants to deal with fractions? It's a lot easier just to know five mil, four mil versus you know three sixteenths, one quarter, five sixteenths, seven eighths, etc. But it looks like I can use a five mil on this one. I'm gonna use my trusty fix-it sticks. Uh, technically, you can go 65 inch pounds on these things, but I think I've been using 45 and 55 to be honest, uh, for the CZ. Uh, but I don't know, I have a, where is my 65 or 55? Here's a 55, so we're gonna use a 55. And I need the extension to clear the MPA chassis. Sun's starting to go down. It's three o'clock right now. Um, sun's still up, but the thing is, there's a hillside that the sun's already setting past. I need to take my hearing so I can hear the clicks. Okay. Um, but yeah, there's a hillside here that the sun's already crept past, so it's starting to get dim on this side of the range. So you set the 55 inch pounds on the screws. Then we'll fire far more rounds. And if the group is still low, we'll go ahead and make our adjustments, or if the group's still off, we'll make our adjustments. But I'm going to anticipate the group will still be low. Yeah, group's still low.
As much as I think the Vortex Viper PSD Gen 2, the turret's a lot better than the Gen 1, I still don't think they're all that great. I mean, there's, I mean, everything, anything is almost better than the original Viper PSDs as far as the turrets and the zero stop. But this one, it seems like it doesn't very really hold up, hold up well, the zero stops. It's not a backlash too in the, uh, when you're adjusting the inner turrets, unlike the LTEX. So the match is going to be next Sunday, a week from now. Uh, I still need to come up, I, well I don't need to, but I was kind of come up with some extra stages to shoot. I think I have two that I, two or three in my head that will work out pretty easily. Whenever we have those, whenever we've had those regional matches here at West End Gun Club for NL22, they've had five extra club stages. Depending on how many people show up to the match next weekend, which I don't know will be many considering it's Christmas, the weekend before Christmas, so people are probably gonna go travel or try to finish up their shopping if they haven't already. So I'm, I could run five, but I think depending on how many people are showing up, three would probably be good. Um, but I'm just hoping to run the regular NRL course of fire, NRL 22 course of fire, just so we can get those scores on record, which is what most people want to do. Brought in my 50 yard target, as you can see here. Start off shooting, this is my very first shot, point of impact here, point of impact here, point of impact here. It's a good mill at 50 yards, it dropped. It's shooting low. This is a great group. I threw this one, but 10 shot group. That was a 10th shot. And then um, I think I was working my array right. And I could not get the thing up. So I think I finally, I've jumped around all these different pacers. I'm like hovering around here and a little bit low. So I'm going to leave it at that. It's about a 10th of a mil low at 50, um, which isn't too bad to deal with. So we'll live with that zero. Uh, not sure if the wind was affecting it, but I was pushing left a lot of times here. So I was pushing left, pushing left, then it, then it started to center up, started to center up. And then, so I don't know what's going on with the winch here at the range right now. It is a little bit breezy. Um, it's a little deceptive here because when I saw my sh impact starting to go left, then I felt the breeze on my face. So you knew that the, the wind probably was having a, an, uh, an effect at 50. So sorry, I'm trying to focus this. It's on AF right now, but anyway. I'm pretty much uh, done. I'm going to go grab my targets real quick and then pack up and get out of here. It's starting to get a little dim, but I didn't plan on being in here too long because I got to get home. Just recording a quick outro to this very sparse vlog. Like I said today, I just came out here mainly to drop off some props for next week's match and brought my 455 with me just to re-zero it because I was having some uh, a very low zero uh, after my dad was shooting it with me a couple weeks ago or a couple range vlogs ago. Uh, I did a quick tour of the back ranges to locate a 55 gallon water drum, which we'll need for next week's match. And there's several back there, so I'm just going to take one of those on Sunday. Uh, next Sunday, we start around 7.30 check-in, but I'll be in here maybe 6.30ish or so to get stuff set up and then, uh, you know, get the, get the uh, stages set up and then get all the check-in stuff ready to go for people to arrive. And I'm not expecting too many people considering, again, it's the weekend before Christmas, but as long as we get a few people out here just so we can shoot the course of fire and submit some scores for the December course of fire uh, official scoring, that'll be great. And then hopefully then as word of mouth uh, it spreads, then people know that we have monthly matches here, then more people will show up. But again, that's all I did today or all I plan to do today was get the props um, brought over to the condensed container. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I think it's very quiet. There's like a few, I heard a few gunshots and I think the back rate back bays are empty and I think the RSOs are gone so I'm gonna get out of here and get some food and I'll watch the last two the most two recent episodes of the Mandalorian I actually bought Disney Plus yesterday because everyone's telling me I have to watch Mandalorian so I thought it was pretty good actually the first three episodes were pretty good I, I was only gonna watch the first one last night and then I ended up watching the next two after that because you know, I wanted to see what happened so but I'll watch those two, and I gotta watch the next star, the last Star Wars film again because I only saw it once in the theater, and I was very disappointed. But I am going to watch the next movie, Episode Nine, on Thursday night because I have a ticket for that. So I kind of wanted to watch the last one so I remember what happened and why I hated it. So um, that's what I'll do probably tonight. Anyway, thanks for watching the vlog, and I'll see you in the next one, which will be in next week.